Hello bartenders and welcome to this edition of Bartenders World where we bring to you Project B Co. That's a local friend of ours here in Miami that produces infused honey. Delicious. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make our signature cocktail today with lemon ginger honey. Just one of the very few delicious tasting honeys that they got. Follow us because we're gonna show you exactly where it comes from. Come on down. What's up, Joey? How's everything? How you doing, man? Can I come in? Sure, let's go. Come on in, man. Everything good? Yeah. Good, good. Just checking some beers out. Awesome. I brought my friends with me, Bartenders World. There you go, guys. How you doing? This is where you get the honey from? That's it. That's it right here. No, I'm just kidding, man. We have a farm down in South Florida. We usually keep our, our bees all over South Florida to keep it local. Okay. And provide 100% local honey to everyone in South Florida. So, But today, if you want to see the bees, I'm going to show it to you. And I'm going to show you the process of it too. All right. You and your followers. Awesome. Are you guys ready? Let's come on in. All right, guys, follow me. All right, Ray, what do we got here? All right, man, so, you know, as I told you, the bees, they form everything differently, you know, for what people expect. Uh, the honey gets formed in the top. Okay. There's out here are larvas. And then as you can see, they form in a circle kind of way. Okay. So the queen goes around and she lays about between 18 to 2,100 eggs a day. Wow. Yeah. So how many bees do you have inside this so, hive right now? So right now, this beehive has around between 60 to 80,000 bees. Wow. Yeah. Do you remember that bee movie? Okay, yes, I remember A the little bee bit movie. of like, it has the idea. Okay. So there's a queen and a bunch of bees. Every bee has a role, and they'll do something different. Okay. So when you see those larvas, there's nurse bees feeding these bees. And um, that's the first job that a bee has, is the nurse bee. Once the nurse bees comes out, then they get whatever job is needed for it. Whether okay. it's foragings to get the pollen, whether it's nectar, so on. And they come back and that's their life until they die. So bees only last 155 days, 160 during the summer. Okay. And the queen lasts five years. Wow. So as you can see on the top is honey and everything else is just the brood. Gotcha, so, gotcha, gotcha. I know today we couldn't see the queen but as you can see, you see some of the creation that she does. Yes. Yeah. All this made by her. Very she can impressive. lay two things though. She can lay males and female eggs. All these here are females. Wow, yeah. very, very Which is called a brood. Okay, the brood. Yeah. That's the gotcha, baby. That's gotcha. Baby. Um, last question. Why is it important not to kill bees? So bees have been around for 33 million years. They've been doing the same. Okay. Same thing over and over and it's pollinate the trees. We need trees in order to exist. We need oxygen. To survive, yeah. Correct, definitely. so people think that, you know, trees don't need germination. They do, they need to exchange pollen, the female pollen to the male pollen. Guess who does it? Ants does it, butterflies, different insects, but okay. bees does it the most. Number Why? One. Because bees get nectar and pollen as properties that they need for the colony. Okay. In exchange, they pollinate the male pollen to the female pollen and they germinize the tree. Okay. That's what the tree needs so they can sustain for the next year. Gotcha. So we need them. Einstein said that if bees vanish, we have humankind four years of existence. Look at so that. It's very, very important that your followers and everyone you know not to kill the bees. If they do have any bee problems, to please give us a call. Truly, I'll take this for you. Thank you, sir. You feel safe? Feel Good? perfect, yes, you thank go. you. I'm gonna make, with your honey, all right? Man, I'm excited. A lemon ginger summer Man. All right, let's go ahead and let's get I'm started. Excited. I wanna try that. You definitely will. You like gin? Not really, but you know what? I trust you. All right, you trust me. Yeah, I don't even trust myself. That's actually a pretty good thing. Let's go ahead and let's get two ounces of gin. Let's add that right in there. Let's go ahead and let's add just a little bit of ginger. We don't want to get too much of that in there. Oh, it looks like uh, kind of tight, but it's okay. You got it. Just a little bit, guys. Just a little bit. Let's go ahead and let's throw that right in there. Let's go ahead and let's add half a lemon. Okay. Now here at Bartender's World, we use fresh ingredients. Correct. 
fresh lemons, there's nothing better than that. So we'll go ahead, half a lemon. If you want to add more, make it a little bit citrusy, it's totally up to you. I love lemon. Beautiful, then you're gonna love this drink, I hope so. It goes with the summer too. Yes, summer, yeah. spring, and here in Miami, it's summer all year round. Yes, it is. I'm interested. All right, so we have our gin, we have our lemon, we have our ginger. Very important, we can't miss our honey. Did you bring any honey for us? Here you go, Joey. All right, what, what do we got honey, here? Man? Raw, from South Florida. Guys, can get better Magic Bee Honey, you just saw where it comes from. Natural, all right? This isn't no uh, processed, any of that stuff. Nope. If you guys need it, raise your man, all right? Project B Co. Let's go ahead and let's use it. This is the natural one, but he does infuse his own honey. Delicious stuff. All right, Ray, let's see uh, what kind of magic powers you have behind this honey. I don't know. Let's mix it with your own magic. Let's see, let's see. I'm interested. Are you? I'm not a gin man. All right, well, let's see. Maybe you might convert today. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put two spoonfuls. All right, look at that honey, guys. Just look at that drip. Beautiful, all right. Let's go ahead and let's leave that right there. All right, next thing I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do is let's refresh it. Let's add some basil. Now, basil is very overpowering, guys. So the more you add, the more that flavor you're gonna get. Uh, if you don't like too much of it, I suggest maybe two to three leaves. Let's go ahead and let's extract some of those veins out of there. Let's add some ice. You got some smooth kicks in there. What do you think I'm gonna do next? I don't know. Let's go ahead, let's shake it and see what we got here. Oh. Can I do your guinea pig? Oh, hell yeah, you're gonna be my guinea pig. Man. All right, guys, let's go ahead. Let's get my glass right there. Let's add some ice to this. Shut up and sit down. George, you got me triggered. I'm You're not a gin see. man. Wait till you see this, brother. Wait till you see this. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blow your mind. We're gonna double strain this drink in there. Oh man, that looks delicious. Look at that. All right, let's go ahead. Let's add some fresh basil. I love basil. All right. For our garnish. We'll go ahead and we'll make it rain right in there. Nice. All right, brother, I want you to go ahead and give that a try. Oh, man. Thanks for so your what do you think? Thanks for the owner. No problem. Cheers, guys. Guys, that's our summary. Wow, Joy. Yeah? You killed it. You don't like gin? I don't like gin. You're a rum and coke guy. Yes, I am. It's good? Guys, this is phenomenal. Wow. You can taste the aroma of everything. Yeah. And the honey is in the background. It's kind of sweet, but it's not too sweet. It just brings all the natural flavors out. Nice. But I got something for you though. Really? Oh yes, I do. Okay. Well, you taught me something about drinks. Gin, never been my favorite. So, I got some fruits. This is a summer drink. Definitely. Well, fruits are very refreshing. So I'm gonna incorporate it to a drink that may go with it. Okay. So, let me prepare this with you. So, just get fruits. My advice is to go and get them from your local fruit vendor. Okay. Cut them up, chop them up, and put them in a little container. This time we're gonna use a little cup. Let's do it. Guys, I am not a fruit man. I do not like fruits. Oh, well, today, you're gonna try okay. the fruits. Let's see. But I got a secret ingredient, okay? Okay. Let's see what you're gonna prepare for. Me. All right, so I got kiwi in there. I got some papaya. Okay. I got mango. A little fruit salad, a little fruit. Uh... I got pineapple. Nice. I'm gonna put a little bit in what it is because I know you're gonna love it. Okay. All right, so here's my secret ingredient, okay? Okay. Have you ever had fruits with honey? Never. Guys, you're watching this live. We got Project B Co. here making us some fresh, fresh, fresh appetizers to go ahead and complement our drinks. Nothing better. Tell me. Let me see. A little smothered in honey, pineapple, with our fresh honey. Change the flavor, isn't it? Oh my God. Tell me about it. I'm gonna hear no one. I don't even eat this stuff. I'm gonna hear no one. Isn't it? So natural. Perfect snack, you're drinking your drink. By the way, it's really good. You told me that this is only the regular honey. Correct. You have infused honey as yes, well. Yes, we do. 
So since you told me that you wanted to make everything fresh, yes, I wanted to incorporate natural gin, ginger, the lemon for the freshness of the lemon, okay, and the raw honey. But we also have infused honeys. So if you don't want to waste your time, you know, putting everything together, you can order online our lemon ginger infused honeys, and you can put together the same drink. Beautiful. You guys heard it first. Where? What's uh? What's your Instagram? What's Project your Bico. Project Bico. Bico. We're local here in South Florida, and our honey comes right from the backyards down here. So, Joey, it's been a pleasure, man. It's been great. Thank you once again. Thank you so much. There you guys have it. We're inside Bartender's World. Sometimes you guys have to come up with your own drinks. You guys have some ingredients. Delicious. You don't want to use it. You have to use it. Guys, we got some naturally fresh squeezed honey. Does not get any better than this. We got some appetizers, we got drinks, we got Ray in the house. What more do you want? Cheers, guys. Cheers. <laughs>